I want to start by expressing my sincere condolences to the family members of those who died as a result of these fires, as well as those who lost homes and businesses. I also want to say to the residents of Sevier County that we stand with you and are committed to making sure justice is served in this case. Since last week, TBI has been working with the National Park Service and the ATF in an effort to identify those responsible for starting the wildfires in Sevier County. Numerous hours have gone into conducting interviews and investigating this incident from every angle. I can't say enough about the National Park Service, the ATF, they've been working tirelessly, tirelessly since the fires began. As a result of the local, state, and federal agencies working together, we are pleased to announce that two people have now been charged for their role in starting the fires. Unfortunately, these two individuals are juveniles. I can tell you that this investigation is active and ongoing and we still have a lot of work to do. I promise is that we will do every effort to help bring closure to those that have lost so much. District Attorney General Jimmy Dunn will prosecute this case and has additional information on the charges that are being placed. Thank you, Director. This morning, two juveniles were taken into custody by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation on allegations of aggravated arson relating to a fire that originated in the, in the Chimney Tots area of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. On or about November the 23rd, 2016, this fire later spread Gatlinburg and the surrounding area. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, the National Park Service, and the Sevier County Sheriff's Department have conducted a joint investigation into the cause of this fire. I'd like to thank those agencies for their hard work and their collaborative efforts. Juveniles are currently being held in the Sevier County Juvenile Detention Center. They are entitled to a detention hearing within the next 72 hours, wherein a juvenile court judge shall determine whether or not they will be held without bond, held with bond, or released. Due to the laws that govern juveniles and juvenile court proceedings, as well as the fact that this is an ongoing investigation. I am prohibited from discussing this matter in any more detail than I've already stated. Additional charges are being considered and all options available to the state and dealing with juveniles are on the table, including the possibility of seeking a transfer of these juveniles to adult criminal court. I understand that you have a lot of questions. However, the law does not allow for the disclosure of additional information at this time. I ask for your patience as this investigation continues. And now I'd like to introduce the Chief Law Enforcement Officer uh, Cluster of the, uh, the National Park Service. Good afternoon, everyone. I like the TBI, I want to first uh, begin by expressing my condolences uh, for all the families uh, that have lost loved ones in this tragic event um, in Gatlinburg uh, this past Monday. Um, I also want to uh, I want to thank everyone uh, who responded to the National Park Service tip line. Uh, the public was uh, critical in uh, responding to that tip line and giving the investigators something to work with. 
the, uh, the tip line has approximately 40 tips with just a few minutes after going online. So number one, I want, I want to thank the, the public, but uh, just as important, I want, to, I want to thank the agencies that assisted the National Park Service. Uh, we, we could not have uh, done this investigation or, or come to this conclusion without the assistance of the TBI, uh, the District Attorney's Office, the ATF. Um, I was continually getting provided information from the Gatlinburg Police Department that I would relay to these, um, to these investigators uh, behind me here. So, Due to, the wide, due to the wide range of jurisdictions that the fire event spanned on Monday, November 28th, it was decided a joint investigation comprising of local, state, and federal agencies was to be the best course of action. And because of that, I think that's the reason we have identified two individuals today. I um, also want to reinforce that uh, normally most uh, cases inside the National Park Service are, are uh, handled in federal court but the U.S. Attorney's Office was consulted and has deferred prosecution to the District Attorney's Office at this time. That's why it would be handled by uh, District Attorney's Office here in Sevier County. Thank you. Okay, we'll open it up to a few questions at this time. Did the uh, tip line lead directly to the two arrests? I can't comment on that. Okay. I know that they're juveniles. Can you release their ages? And if they are transferred to adult status, do we know if homicide charges could be possible. You cannot release their ages, but I'll for the other half of the question to General Dunn. As I addressed earlier, everything is on the table. And we'll be continuing our investigation on that. I would like to tell you this though that says it's an offense for a person to intentionally disclose or disseminate to the public the files and records of the juvenile court, which includes the child's name and address. And, and that's why we're limited in the information. Mr. Dunn, you said yes. additional charges are being considered. Can you itemize what those could possibly be? Everything is on the table. Female, male, for the uh, subjects? Yes. <laughs> One of each. <laughs> Can you tell us if they were local from Sevier County or? They are not from Sevier County. Can you give us a state and where, and where they are from? Residents of the state of Tennessee. Can we talk all about, at all about the circumstances, including there was conversation about a video that had surfaced over the last week. Was that in connection with this, or can you tell us they turned themselves in after the investigation heated up? Can you tell us any circumstances about how they were tracked down? It's all part of our investigation. Do you believe there are any additional people out there that uh, you're still looking for? As I said earlier, everything's on the table. We don't know. Were these yes. two were these two juveniles uh, at the forefront all along? Are the two juveniles related? Are they in school? Out of school? As part of our investigation. Were they with their parents at the time? Were they just here alone? As part of the investigation. As we mentioned earlier, the investigation is active and ongoing, so we cannot release any more details at this time. We appreciate coming out and spending a few minutes. 